So a couple of Zion fans here, or fans of the Lakers and the Knicks, obviously, want Zion to be a petulant child, kick and scream, get his way like Eli Manning did, and John Elway and Lindros and all these other players. So this is a quote from the Herd with Colin Cowherd at Fox Sports Radio the other day. Quote, I'm not going to New Orleans if I'm Zion. Nope. This kid has got nine years of peak talent. He's trained his whole life for this. He gets an opinion too. Elway got one. Eli got one. Lindros got one. He doesn't get one. Give me a break. End quote. Colin Coward on the herd. Now, I think about this. And I, I think about how Michael Jordan elevated the Chicago Bulls. LeBron James elevated the Cavaliers. Steph Curry elevated the Golden State Warriors. A lot of these players don't rush, and, and some players don't want to rush to Los Angeles and New York City because, well, they're already a brand. These guys want to create, some guys want to create their own brand. Michael Jordan in Chicago. LeBron is Cleveland. Curry is Oakland. Zion could be New Orleans. That could be Zion's brand. That could be Zion's legacy. And the the Pelicans, by the way, have won they, they they've won more playoff series in the last six years than the Lakers and the Knicks combined. So I'm happy that New Orleans got the number one pick and they're most likely gonna draft Zion. The, the New Orleans doesn't deserve Zion has to stop. Yes, it's a right now it's 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 a bad NBA city, and so is Oakland. I mean, the the running joke for years was the Golden State Warriors are like the, the Tampa Bay Devil Rays of the NBA. They they're terrible. Who wants to go there? Who wants to play there? It's hell. And look where they are now. Zion can change all that. Leave him alone. Leave New Orleans alone. 